Hello, this is Malik with Mechanic Reviews. Today I am going to introduce you Medtronic latest professional level tool. It's MDX 600 battery tester, starter and alternator diagnostic tool in a single platform design for the professional. It has a lot of feature, so let's take a look right now and see the feature. First option that we have in this MDX 600 Medtronic tester simply viewing or printing by using this option simply we can take previous or latest test result. Second we have quality control and export data mood typically used in inventory control we can export the data to the IR port. Next we perform test mood scrolling down to the next option where we can add the company address vehicle and win number as well in the next step date and time setting scrolling down to the counter unit this tells you the number of tests that we are done and the next we got the contrast for the screen and also the temperature unit whether it's celsius or fahrenheit if you choose the select one of those and you can simply use it as a voltmeter as well if you select the final option in the screen so let's get started hook up the cable set and i have the clamp on the battery to perform a test so you hit enter yes we are in the vehicle it is a top post battery regular automotive floated battery Here we have a different rating option like CCA, EN and CA. It is a rated in a GIS. In this case, it's rated at 80D26. So let's go up to the 80D26. Rated capacity of any battery mentioned on battery. The standard rating is based on how many amperes you can pull out the battery over the period of time under normal use. There we go and we hit enter. The test is completed in less than 5 seconds. We get a good battery result measured 12.7 volt and 622 cca measured against 580 rating. We want to continue with the cranking test, so we hit enter to start the engine. There we go. We have 11.91 cranking volt and the crank time was less than a second. That's from the initial starter. Hit enter again and go on to the charging test checking for the alternator output. Now it's going to ask you the revving the engine with load off. We are going to see an increasing at the ripple coming off the alternator. That's what that graph is showing revving at idle engine. In some model, simply have to hold engine RPM at about 2000 for pushing through those sequence of test. So now let's turn on the blower motor on high speed. Rear defoster on, high beam, headlight are on and we are still at idle. Next section of the test checking at the alternator at the idle with load on. Engine revving detected idle engine. Hit enter actually here test is completed at this point. We can go ahead to turn everything off including the engine. Now we have got the result. No loaded voltage was 13.86 volt. Loaded voltage was 13.81. This particular Lexus vehicle has a complex charging system where they actually monitor current at the battery. That's where you can see some variation in the voltage. But we have at an acceptable level. We will look at the crank time against 11.91 volts. That's the average volt and just a little over a second and there's our battery test result we have this information captured and in this version you can simply take your result and put them directly to the printer 
with the MDX battery tester results found good battery cranking system normal charging system normal as well no problems identified thanks for watching guys i will catch you in the next video